Hi everyone, welcome to Wellness Wednesdays. Do you want to know more about the current hiring landscape? I think you do because you tuned in. Today we have with us Brian Rose, Associate Director of Business Career Services. He'll be covering everything from current hiring numbers, where you can still find opportunities, what you should be sure to do, and some great growth opportunities that you can be looking at uh, right now. So if you've been with us before on a virtual Wellness Wednesday, you'll know that our office is featuring the five different areas of Gallup Essential Elements of Wellbeing. They include career well-being, which we'll be really honing in on today, social well-being, physical well-being, community, and financial. As questions come to you, please type them in the chat. You can send them to the group or you can send them to me privately and I'll field them. Um, and you can also add comments or anything that resonates with you to keep our discussion going. So Brian, I'll turn it over to you and then it will get to have a chance to exchange some questions. Great. Well, thanks everybody for signing on and, and Kate and OSG for having me. I see a few familiar faces. Um, some people are in my class. Um, for those of you who have met me before, and uh, are asking yourself, what's that on your face? Uh, it's the attempt at a beard. And I thought during quarantine, what is a better time to try this out? So my apologies if this is what you're looking at, but I thought I'd give it a shot. So today we're gonna talk about um, some career related items. I'm excited to be spending this time with you all. And um, I know it's been a lot and a really big transition for a lot of people, uh, but the more that we can kind of connect and and chat and laugh together and, and spend time at least trying to get some questions answered, uh, the better. So thanks for signing on today and, and hopefully get some questions answered and some, some good guidance that you're looking for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and share my screen with you and we'll walk through um, the conversation today and I'm excited to answer any questions at the end. So I'll kind of chat for the next like 10 or 15 minutes and then have plenty of time at the end for some questions. So we'll get this thing get this thing going. Um, again, my name is Brian Rose. I serve as the Associate Director for Career Education and VCU Business Career Services. Um, and really what we're focused on today and, and kind of the conversation is first hiring numbers. What do we know uh, now? Uh, uh, for me, uh, both as a professional that works in this space, but also just how I think. And if I was a student right now, I wouldn't want this like sunshine and rainbows, like everything's going to be okay. But I also um, need to know what's going on and, and, and to see the positives of it too. And um, I know there's a lot of information going around out there. Uh, but one thing I want to talk about with you all today is it's actually closer to sunshine and rainbows, especially for business students than what you would think. Um, and so I want to share some, some hiring numbers and, and where employers are reporting themselves to be. Um, so you know what's going on and you can maybe feel a little bit more confident than maybe some other things you've heard already. Um, the next is we'll talk about where to locate some opportunities. There are two specifically sites um, that folks have curated uh, to uh, provide students with day-to-day, -day, you know, accurate information of who is actually hiring. So you're not wasting your time um, on other companies or maybe other opportunities. So we'll talk about that. What do I actually do? Uh, you know, what are my next steps to, actually get this job, this internship, and pursue these opportunities. Um, the thing that we just want you to know, we're here for you. I say in every single presentation that I give, whether it's in person or, you know, remote, whatever, like, we just want you to know we care about you. Like, this is why we do this work. Like, we, we deeply care about you and your success. And we can't help you if, if, if you don't, you know, reach the other way. So we want to help you. And we want to have a, you set an appointment with us and, and, and really kind of grind this out and work, work, uh, work this out together, whether it's reviewing resumes, uh, mock interviews, uh, whether it's um, kind of actually creating and developing your job search plan because you've never even thought about that. Whatever it is, like we just want you to know, if you don't remember anything else from this presentation and our time together today, we just want you to know we're here to help you after today as well. And then we'll talk about other opportunities for growth and development as well. So bottom line, what do we know now? Uh, NACE is an organization that 
uh, most career services professionals are belong to, if not their offices are belong to, and they're kind of the big organization that connects employers um, and colleges in the kind of employment and career education space. Uh, they have a survey that is live that is going to continue through April to get information from employers. So far as of uh, April 15th, 275 employer respondents to their survey. And based off their survey, this is what we know now to kind of give you some insight in real, actual, tangible data uh, uh, to maybe be more confident about where we're at. So for internships, only 15% reporting that they're immediately canceling. So what I mean by that is no kind of thought of we can't make this remote, we're not going to delay it because we know we're just going to cancel it anyways. Only 15% are just immediately canceling and just saying we're really sorry, like we, we want to have you, but, but we just can't make it happen. Um, then we have 38% are immediately moving virtual, right? One thing to realize about internships in general, um, and those that are maybe still posted, or maybe you got an internship and you're sort of waiting on where it's going, internships are the biggest recruitment, um, uh, recruitment kind of pipeline for employers. 70% of all internships get converted to full-time jobs. So it's realizing that like the last thing that these employers want to do is cancel these internships. So 38% are like, we're immediately moving virtual. We don't care what it takes. We'll, we'll mail laptops. We'll make this happen. Um, we'll do what we need to do. 38% immediately moving virtual and staying pretty close to what their internship schedule is going to be. So if it was a 10 or 12 week internship, that's going to stick pretty close to that. We're going to move virtual immediately. 37% are delaying start dates for now. So they're, they're totally just kind of reworking plans. Maybe some employers just didn't have at all a semblance of a plan or ability to move immediately virtually. So they're trying to figure out what that's going to look like for them. So maybe it might just be a two week uh, experience where you're at least maybe working on one project. Maybe it's a five week experience. They don't know what it's going to look like, but again, these employers really value internships. And so they want to do everything they can to rework this thing to keep you. So if you're still in that waiting period, just understand employers are really working hard to keep this internship experience live for you. Um, and it might be shorter than what you thought it was going to be, but you're still in their pipeline, right? You're still the most likely person that's going to convert to a full-time job opportunity if and when this two week, three week, four week, five week, six week internship happens. So they might be delaying it, but, but try not stress too much. And then we have the remaining 10% are just totally wait and see. Like, we don't have any idea. Like, we want our internships to be face-to-face. -face. These are likely the people that don't have as much capability to go remote. So they're just going to continue to wait. Uh, maybe we can do it in-person, likely, you know, for a couple weeks. So hopefully that gives you some information that, you know, 85% of employers are still trying to make this thing work, whether they're immediately making it work or delaying start times, especially for internships, they're trying to make it happen. For jobs, one thing that's a really awesome number is only 2% are reportedly revoking full-time offers. So again, our budgets are massively cut. We can't make this happen. We have to immediately just, you know, revoke these full-time offers. So I think that's a really, really positive and exciting number for all of us that uh, they're going to really try and, and to make these, you know, hold on to these offers. And then again, wait and see is the overwhelming consensus, right? So wait and see is the overwhelming consensus. 57% reported as week to week with their opportunities in regards to start date, moving virtual, all that sorts of stuff. So they're completely week to week uh, as to what they're going to do for a lot of them. So hopefully that gives you a little more understanding and confidence about where we're at. Um, I know that was a lot of numbers and whatnot, but you're business students, so you're used to it. Uh, so hopefully those numbers give you a little bit more confidence as to, to where we are. One thing we want to be clear about is we want you to continue business as usual, right? So we want you to continue to search for opportunities. Um, the main platforms that we work with students on and push towards are utilizing LinkedIn's job features. Obviously, Handshake is the database that we use and we curate uh, these employers that specifically want to hire uh, entry-level college students. So uh, we definitely want you to continue to use Handshake. Indeed is a phenomenal platform as well. And then for those who are really looking for government work, uh, USA Jobs 
uh, anything government related is through that platform. Um, as we know, for you've probably read or seen, uh, government work is going up because of everything going on in the world. So uh, if you haven't thought about government jobs, it's a potential uh, uh, site that you can use to, to see if something fits um, on USA Jobs. So that's one thing we want to make sure people understand is that we want to keep searching through these platforms. We want to keep pursuing jobs, keep pursuing internships, keep pursuing opportunities as we would, even though everything's going on in the world. Um, because one thing to understand is that snag a job, which is they mainly focus on part-time and contract to hire positions, but their searching numbers have gone down 50%. So uh, people are searching 50% less than they were when this all started. So literally you have less competition of people, right, who were searching before. So we're in a place where a lot of people have maybe halted their searches for whatever reason, whether it's being nervous about the climate or, or any specific reason. You are in a situation where um, the jobs are out there and we want you to, to make sure that you're keeping on searching, uh, even though there's a lot going on in the world. So we kind of have these new companies hiring now sites that we want to make sure that are on your radar and, and that you're using and in reading through. And again, set a time to meet with a career services, uh, business career services coach, and we'll walk you through these and, and help you through these as well. Um, Handshake last week, literally last Wednesday or Thursday, just published a top 500 companies hiring right now. Um, and so what this is meant to be is it's not meant to be hey, these are the only companies hiring right now. Um, Handshake, uh, literally like 70% plus uh, of all career services um, uh, offices throughout the country at schools, um, uh, colleges, universities use Handshake. And so Handshake's a massive company that collects a lot of really good data for us. And so they are listing, these are the top 500 companies that are hiring most consistently, have the most opportunities, all that good stuff. Now, again, these are not saying these are the only companies hiring, but they've done the hard work for you of curating, researching, and uh, developing 500 companies that are hiring the most, right? And so Source by Handshake updated weekly. What you can do, and I'll uh, show you in a second, um, filter by industry, company, and location. So these are not the jobs themselves that are on this list, these are just the companies, right? So you can filter, let's say I'm a human resources major and I wanna see who's hiring in the human resources space and industry. I get that full list out of those 500 companies I get that full list of who's hiring. And then I can go to Handshake and Indeed and LinkedIn and search specific opportunities within those companies or go to that company's website. And then we have a, a, a company called Candor. They do a lot of, um, their main kind of uh, focus is helping understanding how to negotiate salary and, and do a lot of like employer relations stuff in that regard. Uh, but they kind of saw a hole in the market. And so they're doing this crowdsource site where um, if anyone's ever used Glassdoor, um, likely most of you have, it's very similar to the crowdsourcing of Glassdoor where they're having employers uh, employers, employees, and managers report on companies where they're at. Is it a hiring freeze? Are they actively hiring? Um, are there layoffs? Where are they at? So it's a crowdsource uh, list. There's literally 3,000 plus companies still hiring on there. You can filter by company, hiring status, and how to apply, right? Again, these are not the actual jobs that are on here, but a lot of students, uh, as we've been working with students and in other webinars with students, the, I mean, the vast majority the big question is, I don't even know where to start. Like, where do I start? Like, I have limited time. A lot of people think I have more time because I'm at home, but I'm working with all these classes, all these assignments. I have family responsibilities. There's a lot going on. I'm stressed out, all this sorts of stuff. And so the question is, where do I start? And so what we want to do is just say, hey, these two places, this is where you start. Like, these are the two best places to start. You have some control. You have some information. Start here. Um, I didn't mean to go forward. So I wanna show you all that quickly. Of course, I'm talking longer than I wanted to, but that's just kind of what I do. <laughs> so I'll wrap up here in a minute or two so I can actually take your question. So here we are on Handshake's um, website, 500 companies hiring students right now. 
again, you see the company, you see the industry, you see the locations at which they're hiring. So I'm a human resources student and I wanna know who's hiring human resources related opportunities. I now see and can filter by industry and see who's hiring and where they're hiring. Make sense? And it looks like, so do you mean, are you showing us the um, website? Cause your slides are still up. Oh, they are? Mm -hmm. My bad. I think I shared just the slides, not my full screen. All right, let me go ahead and share my full screen. Can y'all see it now? Yep, it's good to go. Perfect, okay. So this is our site, 500 companies hiring now. And we scroll down and I type in human resources and I can see who's hiring and where. Now, one thing to pay attention to, and I don't wanna to be too confusing here, but like, for example, you have Apex Systems down here, right? I actually worked for them for a year. They're for sure hiring in Virginia. Like I can tell you, like they're definitely gonna be hiring in Virginia, right? This is again, just Handshake uh, reporting where they're hiring the most, okay? So if maybe Apex, you've heard about it, you've heard they have Richmond offices, they were founded in Richmond and they likely are gonna have opportunities in Richmond, whatever it is, just because you don't, don't see Virginia on here, don't get discouraged. Go by the company uh, and if you're interested in them, see if they have opportunities in Virginia and, and where they have those. This is just Handshake saying, this is where most of their opportunities are. Does that make sense? So don't get discouraged just by the locations. Focus on the company, focus on the industry is what I would say with this. Our other site, as I mentioned, is Candor. Um, and it's updating live every single day. It's kind of like a little uh, spreadsheet that's on here. Now, this is our top, it kind of describes, you know, what this is. Literally, again, it's crowdsourced. So for example, I can filter, I add a filter here. I want to filter by company. You can filter by a couple of things here, but I want to filter by company. So for example, IBM is a target company for me. And I want to see where they're at. We have hiring freezes, offers rescinded, and layoffs, right? But what I get to do here is I get to read more information in regards to what's going on with IBM. So for those who reported that they're still hiring, their start dates are continuing to onboard. Um, and this is what we're sharing in regards to who said that they were still hiring, right? Hiring freeze, all 2020 summer, summer internships are going remote. New start dates for internships are uh, delayed, all that sorts of stuff. So you can filter by company um, and you can filter by status. So I wanna take IBM off of here and I wanna filter by solely the fact that the status is only hiring, right? That's all, only one I wanna see, right? Whoops, I took it off. My bad, everybody. I want to filter by folks that are hiring. And so there we go. We literally have 3,500 employers on here that are still hiring. And it's a great place to start. Let me get back to where I want to be. Apologies, everybody. All right, so what do I need to do? Can y'all see the slides again? Yeah. Okay, so what do I need to do? We need to update our resume. This document is as important as it's ever been, right? Have it reviewed and update it with a business career coach, right? Create, enhance, and utilize your LinkedIn profile, right? We wanna reach out to recruiters proactively and reactively. So if I apply to a position and I know that person's name, and that person's name is listed on the job description, I should reach out to them. I should connect with them and let them know I applied and that I'm excited about the opportunity and that I'd love to connect with them, right? Show that level of desire for that position with connecting with that recruiter. We wanna network with VCU alumni, right? Networking with VCU alumni on LinkedIn and through BizConnect is as important as ever been, right? We know that 70% of all jobs and internships are attained through referral, right? Especially in a time like this, it's gonna be really important to spend some time doing some networking, even if you haven't before. And again, we wanna meet with you as business career coaches to teach you how to do that, how to reach out to people, how to have good conversations, build your confidence up with that. 
updating your handshake profile, right? We only have 30% of our business students are activated and completed their profiles, which is pretty low, right? So you have a handshake profile, whether you know it or not. So literally your information is pulled for banner. You have a login. It's just your VCU ID and your password. You just have to activate the profile, right? And complete it. You're essentially just copy and pasting your resume sections onto the profile with a headshot, right? And your profile is completed. We want to teach you how to do that. And the one thing why we're telling you, hey, we need to update that LinkedIn profile. We need to update that handshake profile is because 59% of employers have been increasing digital engagement and messaging to candidates. So employers already reach out proactively on handshake and LinkedIn uh, through using keywords and finding people who are studying what they need uh, and have the skills that they need. So they already have done that. But reportedly through NACE's survey, 59% of employers who were not previously doing that are doing that now, right? Because they have to. And so if you have your information updated on your LinkedIn profile and on your handshake profile, you're going to get messages likely from employers. Hey, I saw you had this experience, that experience. I see you're studying this. I see you have this skill, consider applying for this job, right? And business students are literally the number one most searched and reached out to of any, any student. Like that is a fact, right? So literally business students through Handshake data are the number one most reached out to of any student out there. So if your profile is active and it's completed, right, you're likely to get messages from employers. So please do make sure that you do that. And again, I'm not just telling you all these things you need to do with no support, right? We're here to help you. We're here to talk to you. And the last thing here, and you'll be sure you have this, uh, this uh, I'll be sure to make sure that you have uh, this presentation um, as well. Alternative development opportunities. So one thing as employer, as a um, previous recruiter, and I know from our employers, a question is going to be asked, like, how have you chosen to grow through this kind of, you know, new phase in this new world, right? There are two really big opportunities for you to continue to get experience, continue to develop skills. Parker Dewey is a platform that that we utilize to uh, help you have micro internships. What, I'm, what we mean by that is they're kind of project based. So five to 40 hours per project. Um, it's hyperlinked here in this presentation. It's also on our website. All you have to do is link your LinkedIn profile with your Parker Dewey profile. And then for every single um, micro internship you apply for, you just answer two or three questions. So these projects are anybody ranging from Microsoft uh, to smaller, more regional companies. You get paid about $15, $20 an hour. But these are just great opportunities to put on your resume to add uh, some skills uh, as well. And then we have LinkedIn Learning. So um, we have this hyperlink as well. Um, if you sign in a handshake and click that hyperlink, it'll send you to the resource itself, the, the PDF that we created. LinkedIn Learning is a platform that has thousands of courses that helps you develop skills. So if you're a marketing student and you're seeing a lot of the positions you're applying to need some digital marketing, experience, need someone who understands search engine optimization, and you don't have that, you can literally go on LinkedIn Learning, take a course for two or three hours, it gets added to your LinkedIn profile as a certification, and now you can put search engine optimization as a skill on your resume because you took that time, right? So these are two really great opportunities for you to develop skills so that you can put on your resume and you can discuss how you've been growing, how you've been developing with employers. Um, so I know it talked a lot longer than I meant to, so my apologies. I know that we're gonna have some questions, uh, but hopefully a lot of this is really good, helpful information for you to kind of build your confidence and that there are opportunities out there for you. And again, if you remember nothing else from this conversation today, remember that business career coaches are here to help you set a time uh, to meet with us through Zoom, phone, whatever you prefer, uh, we're here for you. And I'll take questions and stop talking. Thanks, Brian. This is really, really good stuff. Um, do you want to do you want to take the stop your screen share and we can yeah, go yeah. back to video? Cool. Okay. Um, so yeah. So if you send me the PowerPoint, I'll be able to post it along with the video recording so that everyone has access to the slides as well as the resources that Brian mentioned. Um, this was really good. So I think part of the our current situation is 
trying to deal with the unknown and not really knowing how do I move forward, like you mentioned, what's the first step? And you really laid out for everyone a solid plan of how we can approach um, job searching no matter where we are. So thank you very much. Um, we have a question from Giovanni. She's a graduating senior. And she mentioned that her start date is referred rather than rescinded um, and asked a pretty good question. So um, she, right now she's been, she still has her offer. Should, do you think she should be also searching for other opportunities in addition in case that offer something happens to it or it falls through? What, what's your take on that? So there's a couple, I like to, you know, for me, the customization of, of advice is important. So Giovanni, um, I know you're a go-getter and I know a lot of times you want to do things in order to feel more control. So I would say for you, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with spending some time and going through candor and going through handshake that list and just having a backup plan. And I think that'll make you feel better. I think they'll make you feel more calm. I don't think you need to search two reasons. One, consulting is a top three increase in hire right now, industry, along with information technology. And you're literally going to be working in a consulting uh, position in IT. So uh, no, specifically for where you're at, I don't think that you're going to have any problem. I think that, that position is going to uh, get get going and, 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 and not be rescinded. I think it's just going to be delayed. They're trying to figure out how to train you, how to onboard you in a different way than they anticipated. I think you'll be fine. But anybody who's had their start date uh, pushed back, I think it's just about being prepared. So going through that list, knowing who you want to reach out to, knowing who's hiring, right? Be prepared to search again if you have the time, if you have the capability. Uh, but if they've delayed, they're likely not going to cancel. You know, they want to keep you on. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. So we have time for about one more question. If someone wants to add their question to the chat, um, go, go right ahead and do that. I've also added Brian's information on there so you can connect with him on Handshake and set up an appointment. Um, Brian, your email is also in the chat. So if anyone has any questions that you didn't get a chance to ask today, feel free to send those to Brian and he is more than happy to continue this conversation. Do you have, Brian, do you have any um, last parting words or words of encouragement, advice for everyone who's on today? Yeah, um, I think a couple of things, you know, um, a couple kind of lofty things, you know, I think a lot of us are go, go, go. And especially in the times that you're at like this go, go, go deal. I have to do this. I have to set up this search plan, all sorts of stuff. Find the moments that just like relax you, right? Like I had all these things I wanted to do and needed to do this morning, but my daughter wanted me to pick her up and put her on my shoulders and dance around. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. But then you know what? Yes, of course, I'm going to do that for 10 minutes because it's going to make her happy. It's going to make me happy. So find those moments against all this stress, having to do all these things, go on a walk, go relax. Like you need to be your best self during this searching process and during interviews, all sorts of stuff. So we have to find ways to continue to be our best self through this, uh, through this time. But the second thing is don't avoid what needs to get done as well, right? Don't avoid it. I know it's very scary. Fear, you can't separate fear and career in any normal time, right? Everyone's greatest fear in life has something to do with the fear of the unknown. Is this going to happen? Am I talented enough? All that sorts of stuff. But especially in a time like this, there's a lot of fear. So don't avoid what needs to get done because you're nervous or fearful or don't know what to do. You have people in your corner that want to support you, want to talk things out with you, want to help you out, right? So allow us to be those people. Um, so I know there's a lot of uncertainty. I know there's a lot of fear, but we're here to support you and we're here to push you forward. And, and that's literally, you know, what we live day to day for is to support you all. So uh, just make sure you reach out, set appointments, email us, ask questions. We just, uh, we're here to help you. 
Great, Brian, thank you so much. This was, this is really great. Tangible action steps, good facts, um, great resources, and it will continue this conversation offline for sure. Um, be sure to connect with Brian um, with any questions that you have with your job searching, career, professional development along those lines. Um, so once again, the recording, you'll get a link to the recording when it's ready. Uh, that should be in a few days, uh, certainly by the end of the week. And that'll include Brian's slides and the resources. Um, tune in next week for our last two virtual sessions. We have Rich Reinick on Monday for Mentoring Mondays, and he's a founder and CEO and has years of experience with startups. Um, so he can provide really great insight there. And then we'll finish strong with Dean Ed Greer, our Dean of the School of Business. Um, and he'll be talking about social and community wellness as we shift forward uh, into exams and into the summer session. Um, so thanks again for joining us. Have a great Wednesday and a great rest of your week. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, everybody.